Looking dapper. Uh, sure, I'll let that one fill up with uh, ray metals before I send it back. Load of food. Honestly, these ranches are just ridiculously good for food. Absolutely bonkers. Right, well, it is time, I think, for us to go ahead and build our node. Got our sanatorium down here. Um, does it tell me how many people are in here? Right. I have no idea which colonists we have here. Oh, wait. I think this needs to head back off. Yes, it does. You can go. Right, I need to know... Um, command center, there we go. Colonists. Uh, floors. Well, I, I specifically want to see people with floors. Got alcoholic. We've got loads of alcoholics. Can we fix that? Yes. Currently, Gambler and Glutton are the ones we've got set up. Mm, I think Chronic Condition is one you can fix. That's an awful one. Yeah. Because that actually makes them lose health on an ongoing basis. Um, gambler. We've got a couple of Gamblers, yeah. So sure. We'll get rid of the gambler trait. Uh, well, lazy if we've got it, actually. Let's have a look. Do we have any lazy people on Mars? If we do, it's worth getting rid of. Yeah, we do. Lazy individual performance decreased by 20 in all jobs. It's actually quite a nasty one, that. So this will fix that. They'll go in there, they'll get counselling. Once this is built, then we are probably going to see some interesting things going on. Research complete. Domeless farming. Where is it? Oh, is it perhaps under this? Open farm. Consume seeds to plant crops, which can be harvested for food by drones. Crops will wither or grow according to local soil quality and global temperature and water. Doesn't work during dust storms and toxic rains, however. My lord, that's gigantic. I can always move a... Uh Yeah, we're going to plonk that there. I can always move... Oh, damn. That's going to be a little bit more cumbersome than I'd hoped. Would have been better if I could have hooked it up there, but oh well. well that should be awesome. I've not actually played with that before. Right, what's not working? Yeah, we're out of seeds, basically. I may send a shuttle back with seeds. You know what? Let's send a large supply pod with seeds. All of the seeds. That is... They're very heavy. My lord. I guess I'm not too surprised by it, though. I need a drone hub up around here. Did I get the point? Yes, I did. Fantastic. I make my own drone hubs. That will do quite nicely. It's not quite in range of seeds, though. It is a bit of a parch, but oh well. 
Funding received. And I will also have this up here as well. Only it's not going to accept fuel or rare metals. But we'll accept everything else. However. There we go. Should be able to put this together pretty quickly. Uh, it's going, Hi Kaiser. I'm trying not to be too, uh, too crestfallen about it. I'm, I'm desperately trying not to kind of lament publicly about the whole house hunting thing, but yeah, it's, it's going. Another night in the control room, poring over maintenance and monitoring reports, when a message pops up on your private terminal. This better be this good. better be good. Oh, okay. You were still with me. Greetings. Additional address communication protocols missing. Expressing simulated emotion of happiness. What is this nonsense? Who is this? Number six, requesting authorization to communicate. Awaiting user input. A chill runs down your back. You reach for the emergency button on the desk. Danger for the commander is not present. Raising alarm is suboptimal. Unnecessary. Are you spying on me? Affirmative. <laughs> Great. First, first test is passed. You tell the truth. I like it. Requesting input. Problem. Question. Using simulated emotion. Please, Commander. You want me to ask you a question? Yes. Okay. What is the purpose of his existence? Insufficient data for answering. Disconnecting. Oh, that is an awful question to start with. Oh, my lord. Alert Smith and request security check on number six. Well. That is an awful, awful question to start with. My goodness. It's going to go badly. Right, herbs. Herbs produce small amounts of food. They grow quickly and slightly improve the local soil quality. Minimum soil quality is 10%. Uh, seeds required, 0.1. Growth time, harvest, one food. Vegetation plant is not working. No more vegetation will plant it. No, no, no. Um, so herbs, potatoes, cover crops uh, grow slowly and have a very low yield. Um... They significantly increase the local soil quality, improving the growth time of the following crops. Uh, Miles not sufficient terraformed. So, I can't get any seeds back from these yet. Oh, that's kind of annoying. Oh well. I guess we'll just go with it though. We'll see what we can do. Oh, there he is. How cool is that? Funding received. That's actually pretty cool. I like it. We shall keep this. However, sneaking in more of these is now going to be much harder. That I was not banking on. Uh, we can send this back up. We've got quite a lot of funding. Uh, get some of these. Get a load of seeds because this is a large rocket and they can carry quite a lot. Yeah, we'll grab loads of drones. There we go. Sector scanned. Open a ranch for the total farm feet. I'm sure we'll be able to open it once we get a chance. For now, we're just going to watch this Resources slowly plant herbs. Low. Hopefully. Hopefully not that slowly, actually. There we go. That's a little bit better. Now, it's mentioning that we do have a large maintenance. The thing is, we don't... That is, in fact, a lie. Uh, I don't need that, though. Although it looks like we have a very large maintenance request, we are good. Because we are tricking the game. Have a look. 
Now, we should get this one back in time, I think. Just about. Now, how are we doing over here? Eh, not amazing. But... Resources are low. That is fine. There we go. And this one as well. Oh, look! They're growing along the uh, water's edge. That's actually pretty cool. We could probably build a few more. There we go. That's the last that we're going to build until we can get another load in. Well, that's unfortunate. You perhaps hold Resources are this low. back at the top. There we go. Yeah, it's unlikely they'll be able to land. We're going to see some interesting electric shenanigans going on for now. On the plus side, though, we should be fairly solid. I think that's amazing, though. Look at all those herbs. Now, the thing with algae... Algae cannot propagate. You have to plant it. It doesn't spread. Grass will spread. Brushes, trees, they will spread naturally. It takes a fair bit of work, but it, it will happen. Oof. That's quite a cool effect. Oh, it's not algae, sorry. Yeah, it's it's lichen. My my um my bad on that one, sorry about that. Alright, like the maintenance line in the electronics is not an estimate. It's how many we use last solve, really? I wonder what it's being used on. Well, you might be right, yeah. Okay, something just got smacked. Really? Again? Why? Uh, it's probably be we've brought in so many more people over time. Oh, that's my bad. Sorry, everyone, you're, you're suffocating. It's my fault. It doesn't really feel like it's a, a sufficient apology, really. It isn't a leak, is there? No. Well dread. Or was it a leak? I'm not sure. Either way, got seven hours left to go. We're down to 162 colonists now. We have definitely hemorrhaged quite a few. It's at this point that I'm starting to regret not going with the whole uh, survivor perk, really. Seems like that might have been a good idea, after all. Sector scanned. Not hundred and fifty-seven. Fuel explosion. A poop. Ah, oh, that wasn't too bad. It was just a local supply. Oh, there we go. O2 is back, but we lost a, probably a lot of people working jo various jobs. Yeah. We need a lot more storage, I think. Not that the storage will actually help if, you know, we get smacked around a bit. Because we'll just lose it uh, quickly anyway. Still, uh, there's the space elevator, which would make things ridiculously better for us. 
Or we can just go for this. I think it's probably worth me going for that. Get that one done as quickly as we can. Now we can pop down a couple of uh, Marsha specific upgrades. And then the sun again. Hey, it's all right. Resources are low. Yes, oxygen is quite low for the moment. Our batteries will easily take us through this uh, early morning. Oh, wow, we've actually finished off all of the uh, red metals there. Quite impressive. Unfortunately, we seem to have to start again here because we lost a little bit too much uh, time on that. Yeah, I think uh, I want to hold off and try and get the larger storage tanks. Yeah, we're already 63% of the way. Uh, sorry, Martian Born Strength, rather. Um, and then this one, we're going to get fairly quickly afterwards, so I'm going to hold off on it. I'll just hope. You can't really sustain losing population like that all the time. We'll get this filled up and launched. Oh, no. I bought the launch sequence. Get the seeds out first, please. There we go. Right, we should see quite a lot of uh, seeding happening. Still low resources regarding oxygen, which is really quite worried. Worrying, rather. How do you mean, Lord Falada? Um, in terms of moisture farms. But yeah, definitely. You know what? Sure. While we, because it might take us a little while, I will go Funding ahead and build received. some more oxygen tanks. Sector scanned. So that's a couple over there. Right, and then we will continue to explore over there. Sorry for the inconvenience. Ned Smith from Netsky <clears throat> just sent us a letter of apology. He seems more worried about our reaction than anything else. Commander, I want to apologize about the glitch in Number 6's communication UI disturbing your privacy. We've run through diagnostics and removed the problem. No contamination in the colony systems was detected. The project continues to work in the contained environment of the node. Now, for the good news. We applied the first stock market predictions from Number 6, and the commercial results were stunning. Please find the invoice with your share of the profits below. I hope it will help you realize the possibilities and omit the accident from your monthly report. Uh, okay. <laughs> I think this is grand. More network nodes. We want more number sixes. Even though this one isn't going to help us because it's not in the right place, but ah, that's fine. We'll build it anyway. Actually, that dome is really bad for it, I think. Oh no, we've got 28 of 50 there. No, you know what? This dome will be okay. I was going to say it would be better to have an arcology, but no, no, it wouldn't. We, we absolutely don't need an arcology in this dome. We're fine. Good night, drunken door right. All right. Well, in terms of the tribe electric scrubbers, we're still seventy power down night. That isn't awful, but in the day we're not really getting the the highs that we need. Resources are low. Mm. We'll have to watch.
We will have Funding to watch. Received. All right, can I get some more people? Yes, I can. Very well. Launch the rocket. I don't want to put any um, wind farms down there, though. If I am going to build more, it'll be up here, and it'll again, it'll be a wind farm. We'll see. I'm not sold on the idea yet. I'd kind of prefer to go for something more along the lines of uh, the artificial sun. Ten point nine still. Well, we've got stupid amounts of money, so that is the whole point of having stupid amounts of money. Martians don't take sanity damage from disasters. Very, very good. And this is going up very nicely. I approve. That would be such a good building to have that uh, node in, but alas. Oh, there we go. Sector scanned. Come on, you. There we are. I want to see where this goes. Okay. Hopefully we can get some workers in this shortly. Seeing a small increase, but it's very, very slight. We will be at 20% water soon, though. Which I believe will allow us to grow a different type of crop. Oops. Now, we've got the magnetic field generators. Improves the magnetic field of the planet, decreasing the loss of atmosphere by 0.2% per sol. Generates research proportional to the current atmosphere. May trigger Mars quakes. By may, it means will. But as you get more and more available... Uh, let's pop this a little bit closer. As you get a, a greater the amount of... Have arrived. Actually, let's get rid of these. Uh, a greater amount of atmosphere, it does really produce a lot more research points. It's kind of OP how many research points it'll produce, but we'll have one right in the middle. Because why not? AI, let's check. We can still remember when Ned Smith asked us to help develop project number six by giving it a human partner. Made it sound exciting. Nobody sugarcoats like a CEO. Commander, at the CRS division, we put a lot of trust into the number six project. You could easily call it our baby. Good parents always look after their child and spoil it a little bit when necessary. Number six requested a direct connection to your control room. We will install a console there. It's your choice whether you'll use it. Number six won't be too much of a bother. You can always ignore it when it gets too annoying. After all, it's only an emotionless program and won't be offended. Mmm, that sounds like, uh, yeah, no. Can't promise that I'll have time for this, but I'll give it a shot. Okay, I've got to wait for this to, uh, reset, I think. Seems the shaders are a little bit off there. Seems the shaders are very, very off there. For a while. They'll correct you soon enough, I'm sure. Right, it looks like the drones are heading out to gather the harvest, which is pretty cool. Starting to consider setting up another trade beacon. We should be able to reach that. Yeah, we can. More or less. Resources are low. Yeah, I know. 
Yo, so. Funding received. Research complete. There we go, mega storages. Thank a goodness. Uh, we'll have that one soon after. But let's get some mega storages down. So first and foremost, on a large water tank. Um, let's spread them out a little bit though. If we have that there, hmm, it may make, make it difficult to hook this up the way I would like. So instead, let's have the large water tank right there. There we go. And also get you heading back. Uh, next up, we want the large oxygen tank. Funding received. Sure, we'll pop that one down there. These are very large compared to the other ones. Um, I forget exactly how much more, but we'll uh, have a look once it's constructed. It shouldn't take long because they're fairly easy to construct. As you can see, this is growing out over time. As the soil quality continues to improve due to the uh, the crops being grown there, this is spreading out, which is actually really, really cool. And what's more, it doesn't require anyone. Right, I would like to sell food in exchange for... Uh, don't need concrete, so I'll take polymers. If anyone wants to make that trade, then it is open for you. Power wise, though. Oh, yep. Sure. How are we doing power wise? Uh, not great. We'll see if during the last section. I don't think we will. Because I was going to say we'll see if during night, uh, the third. Um, uh, third of the day whether we'll generate power but I don't think we will because all of these will shut down ice asteroid we've discovered a giant ice asteroid in close proximity if we manage to redirect it and take it down it will provide plenty of frozen water to your terraforming effort we can achieve this by mounting engines on the icy rock and guiding it in to crash on Mars send drones to operate the engines and steer it on a collision course uh, ecologists or rocket scientists send drones and a team to extract them uh, then detonate in orbit. Oh, wow. Uh, astrogeologist or hydroengineer? I will lead a team to mount the engines and crash it on the other side of Mars. And I don't want to put the colony at risk. Unlock an expedition. Um, it will cause Mars quake, and I don't think we need it. I don't want to put the colony at risk for this one. There we go, all shut down. Yeah. I definitely need to set up a new set of... turbines there we go. sector scanned and with that we are also going to need the tribe electric scrubbers otherwise we'll be paying ridiculous amounts in uh, Replacing all of the uh, main, uh, mechanical parts for the funding received. There we go. Four of the wind turbines. There we go. That should be enough, and this should be more than enough power, as well. That'll bring us in a lot, I imagine. There we go. Starting to come up together around here. AI, a gaze into the future. Number six was growing smarter by the hour. Ned Smith's message wasn't much of a surprise, actually. Commander, we've been busy lately with number six and made it work on some wild predictions of a current hypothesis based on your published scientific data. Number six reached a conclusion which looks like a working prototype of a new technology. Don't ask me how it did it. Its mental processes are extremely complex already and... 
since it's heuristic, we would have to invent another AI just to rifle through its logs. Anyway, the test worked, and here are the results. I hope this helps the colony gain a random technology. Okay, build additional nodes to advance project number six. Amazing results. Which technology did we get? Um, no, we already had that one. I have no idea what technology we just got. Doesn't seem to have shifted any of our technologies at the very least. Uh, nope. No idea. As it shows. Uh, nope. I have no idea about that one. Frustratingly. It would have been nice to know. Right, well, we can. A stupid amount of money. Yeah, we can send uh, another haul of seeds back. There we go. Continue to grow everything we can. In terms of electronics, eh, still kind of lagging behind on that one, which is a bit of a problem, but oh well. Uh, we could start work on expanding this out, though. Yeah, sure. I think that might be a good idea. Idle extractors. Oh, dear. Well, not exactly the best thing to have seen. That is going to be a problem for us. And unfortunately, it's not one that I had prepared for because I'd completely forgotten that these were due to run out soon. Well. Uh, oh, actually, no. Never mind. Never mind. We should be all right. Okay. Resources are low. Right, we're going to need to create a ramp down there. Sector scanned. And we also want to shrink this a bit. Let's make this a bit smaller. Funding that received. Once we've got that, we can run a, a line all the way down and hook up to these. Two per should be good enough. Um, sure, I'll accept that offer. Unfortunately, that is going to take a lot of rock to, to shift. And while we're waiting on that, we're not going to be in the best position. Instead, what I could do is just drop down another harvester over here. But this will future-proof that area. It'll take us a while to prepare it, but once it's done, it's done. And we can uh, expand into there when we need to. It'll take the, the drones a long while to get all that sorted. Unfortunately. Uh, though the dozers will probably get it done pretty quick. Right. Next, we want some dome connections. Like so. And then, of course, away over this. Oh dear. 
Oh, well, that's a little bit awkward. I was hoping that was going to be a little bit easier to connect. Uh, it'll have to do. I think that should be okay. Funding received. Hello, Kyle. Uh, pipes will go down a ramp. Yeah, I fairly certainly do. I could be wrong, but I fairly certainly do. We want another network node, but unfortunately it is going to require more workers, so I'm going to need more living space. Hmm. Not exactly what I wanted to do. We'll get these in position to push this out across. Electrostatic dust storm approaching. Again, really? How vexing. Unfortunately, it seems that. Oh, really? Did you just steal the electronic parts that I was waiting for? Resources are low. You scoundrel. No, no, no. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. I accept. But it's clear enough that I'm going to need this over here to help actually get all of this done. Because they're just shifting it back and forth. Which is quite annoying. Where are you currently? Oh. Well. Oh. Well. Plop. Oh, there we go. It's okay, it's okay. We're fine. All is well. It's all okay. I was quite concerned there. Eh? But apparently, no. No reason for concern. We're good. Yeah. We'll still bring it up there anyway. But we should be fine. All right, let's get back. We can bring in, hopefully, another load of colonists. All right, how much is this store? Stores. Um, capacity is 1,500 liters, I assume. And this is capacity 1,500 liters of oxygen as well. All right. Versus a regular oxygen tank, which is 150. Regular water tank, which is 150. So yeah, 10 times the the storage. That's actually quite nice. Right, hopefully, we can get some uh, electronic parts over here. Either that... Uh, well, I can wait for this to get back to Earth and then send it back with a bunch of electronic parts. That shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, I know the wind farm isn't connected. Um, oh, actually, I was kind of assuming... Oh, right, no. No, sorry, I, I thought it was showing that the middle line there was connected. But I know the wind farm isn't connected uh, on here because uh, once the, uh, the uh, um, tribe electric scrubber is set up, it will be. So I was just waiting on that, really. And we're going to need another two electronic parts before that happens. A little bit frustrating, but it's fine. There you go. You can probably get one out there, and then everything around this main base is covered, basically. Though so this one, not so. Funding received. Interesting. This one isn't protected. Hmm. I wonder if it ever is. If it can ever be protected. Right. Well, we need a new name. And I think that's going to be the last thing that we do in tonight's stream. Uh, Batestas. 
There we go. Welcome to the colony, Potestas. But yes, it is getting on for me. Funding it is... We've been streaming for five and a half hours. It's a little bit shorter than usual. I know, I know. But, in my defense, it is actually half past five in the morning. And I've got stupid amounts of things that I need to get done. So I'm afraid that's going to be it for now. But we have begun making progress in regards to terraforming. We've gotten Mars almost up to 50% of the temperature it needs. 20% uh, of the, the uh, water and 0.67% of the vegetation. That's actually super, super low. And it's not anything to be proud of, I'm afraid. We need to do better with that one. But on the plus side, we are actually getting a little bit of research down here as well, which is kind of cool. Uh, but that is going to be it from me. Uh, thank you very much for joining me tonight. If you have a little bit more watching left in you, then I shall find you someone to watch. We will pass on the love, as it were, but that is going to be it from me. You will find these uh, videos going up on YouTube over the next couple of days in VOD form. So if you've missed any of tonight's stream, then you can always catch it there as well. And it'll be in slightly high quality, as, uh, higher quality as Funding well. So received. it's always there. 